I see I got a lot of stuff here working on this engine. Let's go out the other room. Okay. Okay, this is what we call engine room two. This is the Alco that drives two 400, uh, correction, drives two 1,000 kW DC generators. That's an uh, Alco, it's a 16 cylinders, 2,685 horsepower. Right. That all that is in that little brochure. Okay. For you. Uh, you said you wanted pictures of it? Yeah, yeah. How about that? Whatever you want to get. Okay. We'll have a load and we're not going up the hill. Right. If we're coming down the hill and coming back, we can move. Okay. We don't have a problem. And these are the, are these the identical engines that were? These are original engines. They've never been out. Mm -hmm. They're still here. We have done, uh, changed out some pistons. We've changed some cylinder heads. Uh, we've changed out, uh, you know, things like this. But the crankshaft, the main structure is still right where it was the day they set it in here some 35 years ago. So is this uh, based on a uh, on an engine that was we've been used for? Uh, I understood uh, that it uh, these ship. actually came from a locomotive, locomotive. type setup okay. because of the DC generator and the type stationary you know type operations it does. Uh -huh. uh, it was set up uh, from a locomotive out. Okay. In mind. It must be incredibly noisy in here when it's running, is that We're right? We're about 100, if you stand right here, you're about 110 dB. Okay. Get, during the summertime on a movie, it's to about 120 degrees in here. Right. Is there any need to be in here while it's Oh, running? yes. Yeah? If this thing springs a leak, or we get a leak down through there, or an oil leak, or we break an injector line, or anything like that, we need to know right away so we can secure it. You don't want to be going propelling up a hill and have something like that happen. Sure. And then you can't stop and repair it. So how was this, was this built on site or? Was built right where it's sitting. Okay. This particular one in particular. Right. It's a CT1. Standard, in fact, these right here had just came out and uh, we actually take off the roof. Well, actually we took these to the floor. But these are the main exciters that drive the uh, DC propelled motors and the AC. Um, generator. Uh, they were in here for 35 years. Uh -huh. They had never had anything done to them. Right. We had them taken out, had them rebuilt, and put back in this past year. How's that right? It's a 21 kW uh, cider generator. In this <laughs> it was just kind of interesting. The uh, fact you spent eight hours to get 30 seconds, you know. Of, yes. That's our backup exciter set there. Uh -huh. yeah, we have, most everything we have here is redundant. This is the backup set. That set went actually through the ceiling. Because through the ceiling? Oh, it came, came in through the ceiling. That, that's where we uh, normally, this engine has to come out, for instance, to go out that way. Oh, is that right? And these generators, again, uh, this is another item we just had done in the last 12 months. <coughs> and that's these DC propelled generators. Yeah. They had never been out of here since they were put in here 35 years ago. We'd have them taken out, sent to Jacksonville, had them uh, inspected, steam cleaned, uh, refurbished, rebaked, and brought back to us. Okay. So they're just hatches up there? Or they're... No, they're actually bolted on panels. Right. So we had to unbolt. Each panel has got about 96 uh, bolts in it, I think. We've got to take off a number of panels. We had to take off seven yeah. in order to get this one out. Then we had to take an additional four off to get this one out. Okay. That's the 750 kW AC generator. That supplies all the power, AC power, to run our lighting, to run our exciters, to run our jail pumps, to run the steering pumps, the, uh, the supercharger. The, the exciters, are, are they, what were the exciters? Exciters excite the generators which produce the power. Right, okay. So what, what, what is that process? It, it, well, uh, it, it, for instance, it starts up the generator. Uh -huh. Go ahead. All right. It starts off with if the engineer uh, starts to get power to go, 
it sends a signal to an amplodyne, which in turn sends a signal to the exciter. The exciter starts coming up, producing uh, field currents here, which in turn, this is already running, which starts producing DC power. Right. And that is what goes out to the motors. All right, now we start turning. They'll start real, real slow, and they get faster and faster mm -hmm. as the current applies. Which in turn, like I said, is the loop that it takes to make it. Happen. This is part of the fire system that they got shut down right now. Right. If it had been on when you made that flash, chances are it would set it off and be dumped by power. What's that right? What's that be using? The motors are fine. We can change the fans out, double the exhaust. I mean, double the airflow, and a bunch quieter. Okay. They're running about 90 dB in, uh, level, just the fans running themselves. You heard that when you came in on the other end. Yeah. This, uh, by changing that out, that'll help reduce the total overflow noise in here. Sure. <coughs> but those are some of the filters that came out of there. We're replacing them, getting rid of them. And this unit here? Is that this right there, that's the de uh, dehumidifier. Okay. They had, uh, during the time they were up here, we had some leaks. We turned it on to help keep, try to keep as much moisture out of here as we could. Normally, ventilation is all it takes to keep it down. Right. And you were talking about the leveling system, so let's go back to the other end on that. the gel system operate. That's the button he uses to jack it up and jack it down with when we're going under an MOP in the VAB for instance. Sure. We okay. pull under there, we jack it up, and then we lift that up to the query 